Buenos dias, goat lovers. Long time, no current talk to. It is now Monday, May 11th. Sunday and Monday are normal days off, if you will. So many of you probably noticed we got way behind on our videos. With all the kidding and all the babies to bottle feed and all the stalls and the whole, the whole thing, it got a little overwhelming. So we had to just stop recording for a while just so we could get caught up on all of our chores and all the editing and everything else. So the video you saw yesterday where we sent off the goats, that was actually April 21st. So it's been a couple of weeks since we've made a video. So we just wanted to give you guys an update on everything that's changed since then. So I have gotten the garden planted with all kinds of stuff. Too much stuff to name. Lots of beans, tomatoes, onions, potatoes, radishes, lettuce. This is old kale and stuff going to seed. Arugula going to seed, more lettuce, more potatoes, more beans, some baby cucumbers finally coming up. I even have carrots going to seed. Many of you might remember we planted uh, some snap peas along this back fence and they didn't really do too good. But uh, we've, add, we've extended this bed and it's now all full of potatoes and there's some marigolds in there. And, uh, and there's still some snap peas, but what's left is just going to seed. So I had some corn seed left over from uh, my corn failure two years ago, and this is what I planted. I'm sure it won't work. Um, the dang army worms will get it. Tin's still hanging out doing good. Our uh, Campbell's Soup Can Scarecrow. He was here when we moved in hanging in the in the garden and uh, we just kept him he's cute he's supposed to be scary but he's cute he does his job well so we got a big patch of herbs here that I use frequently on a lot of things obviously all of my dishes um, for the soft cheeses I'm making I love them in that the farmers cheese the chev um, but we got a lot hanging and drying but we need to cut some of this back and dry more so that I can get it in some jars. This dill looks beautiful. Need to start pickling some stuff. So we planted eight raspberry bushes. Um, only three of them are actually taking off and living. So might get some more, but we got a couple that are doing really good. And we got a kind of Kind of under the shade here hoping that they'll do really well and wanting them to kind of just take off in here that would be really neat we need some berries around here so one day we will tear this down and build a big pole barn and i'll have my cheese cave and cheese room where i can make my cheeses and, and store them in one half and the other half will be derek's shop so that's obviously not today or or tomorrow but it is in the plans so this metal barn was already here when we moved in and it leaks it leaks bad you can't really tell that you're out of the rain if it's raining it rains inside the barn as well and i need a place to uh, have a shop and we don't have the money to just knock this building down and we didn't want to spend too much time and too much effort into it so what i did was just framed up a metal roof inside the metal roof we did try this plastic stuff for a little bit, but of course it didn't work. Um, this metal roofing that's up here, none of it is screwed down so I can take it out and use it for another project in the future. And all the lumber is just with screws too, so I can back the screws out and use it for something else. We are gonna put a skim coat of concrete down, something flat, something to work on, keep the dust down, and something that I can just chip out of here easily later in life. For those of you new to the channel, um, we purchased seven crazy goats in February. Um, and two of them are incorporated with the herd. Those are the ones we're milking. Uh, worked out nice because they need milked also, so it was an easy transition for them who are doing really well. But these five, you can't see the other four who are hiding, and I had to catch this one. This is Nova here, gorgeous girl. But anyway, these five, are still very crazy. We had not, we have not had a lot of time to spend with them because things have been, you know, obviously we had a lot of babies, we got the bottle feeding, we got the milking, and things have just been very, very busy. So now with things settling down a little bit for us, 
we want to definitely get more hands-on time with them and we have those five birthing stalls so we got five crazies five stalls we are going to put them all in their own little stall um, it's gonna help with two things we're gonna be able to go into that stall and spend time with each individual goat and it's also gonna separate them from each other so that they're not feeding off of each other with the fear if you will and maybe one at a time we will incorporate them into the rest of the herd not all at once because they will cling together and they're just going to be scared and skittish and it, it triggers the other goats who are not skittish because they're a herd animal if, if something gets scared and runs they all scare and run so that's our plan it has been the plan but again now we have those stalls available so we're going to get them into those stalls so we can just spend some one-on-one -on -one time with each of them this prickly pear, this is a cactus, you guys. They have eaten down to almost nothing. You can see Lodi and Cassie. Elsa's getting all bully about it because the rest of it is hers. How ridiculous is that? I mean, this thing was like this big. Who would have thought the goats love to eat prickly pear? Girls are crazy. Very chilly. See Becky here and Val here are two of the seven crazy skittish goats we purchased and they have successfully joined the herd. Must be time to head up. Here is our beautiful girl Lacey. She is doing really really good you guys and you know how we were so worried that she had that rectal prolapse um, you know for her last kidding that she had but there's no issues whatsoever I mean after she kitted everything's normal she's not having any issues so and she's super healthy she's doing really good um, we are of course we're just gonna continue to milk her and this will be her last year we are gonna retire her um, and she is gonna get to retire here um, just spend her older days out browsing with the girls. She is, she's one of our foundation does. So that's actually really sad because she's an awesome doe. But she's, she's given a lot to us. She's done a lot for our herd and she's a good girl. So that's why she gets to live out her days and retire. So this here is Anna. Uh, everybody wants to know what we're going to do with her because she won't get bred. Um, as breeders, we kind of have a responsibility to the breed to only breed good good characteristics and the best of the best. And uh, a goat that won't get bred, a goat that won't have babies, doesn't meet those requirements. Anna has been here on our property. We've tried to breed her five times, and she's given us one child. She should have given us ten, and she's given us one. So Anna here is a call. Um, if we sold her, it would only be, she would be sold as a weather, meaning we wouldn't get very much money, a hundred bucks. You can't buy very much meat at the store with a hundred bucks. And if you've been watching the news, you might not be able to buy any meat at the store. So Anna's going to provide meat for the family and tallow for the soap. And, uh, and that's just what you got to do. You got to call the goats that don't meet the characteristics for the breed. And she just does not meet it. So this here is our beautiful, beautiful girl, Dawn. If you guys are new to the channel, um, Dawn, while she was pregnant, we realized she had um, skin cancer. We, we found something on her back end, a lump. So we took her in, we got a biopsy, and turns out it was squamous cell carcinoma, which is a form of skin cancer. Um, it's in an area that cannot be removed uh, right on her anus. So. Initially, we were very, very worried. Uh, the vet said it could be five months, it could be five years um, before she shows any signs or symptoms, you know, before it takes its toll. Um, and I just kind of was really, really scared, thought it was going to take a toll on her much quicker. And, and I mean, there's absolutely, other than you can see the lump that falls off and then it grows back, uh, she's healthy. She's healthy as can be. So for now, I think we're gonna play it by ear. We might breed her again. I don't I don't know. I don't want to not breed her and she lives healthy for another five, six years. She But that's kind of the, the situation with Dawn. She is just doing really, really awesome. And again, 
Very, very healthy. Very healthy. And Matt, come on, you're okay. And she's gorgeous. So pretty. So here in our very quiet kid pen, um, we just have a few left does up here. But if you guys saw, we got shipped off 11 in our last video. Um, two more have actually gone to their new homes since then as well. We have Zorro, who went to my friend Danelle at Weedem and Reap. A little bit's Buckley number two. He's pulled. And you guys will see a lot more of him. And then we also have uh, Cammie's buck. So he, he went to a really nice family up in Kentucky. So Outlander is this guy's name. And I'm about to hand him over to the transporter. And he's going to Kentucky. Down in the holler, y'all. So those two have also gone to their new homes. But in here, if you guys want to come in and see, we just got a couple does. And we'll show you how good they're looking. So here's Miss Dreamer, Dawn's baby girl. She's still keeping her heart. She's beautiful. Of course, here's Miss Maybelline, who I love. And these are Val's little girls. This is the dinky dinky, the smallest one. Um, we decided we're going to name her Venus. And then this here is Vogue. So Venus and Vogue. Also very, very beautiful. They're growing really good. They're actually getting getting pretty big so for preemies they're doing awesome these girls are now down to one lamb bar feeding a day so here soon they're gonna be weaned off of the milk too and this here's Maddie's dough she is still she's still with us um, she's doing really good actually she's eating a lot better she still has a lot of weight she needs to put on before she's good to go but um, as far as her being out of the woods, I think she's, she's going to be just fine. She's just going to need a lot of extra care is all. And bottles. She is still getting two bottles a day um, and will until she puts on some weight. But doing good. She's still here with us. So more, you know, she's going to be like a Lodi. If you guys didn't know, Lodi had gotten kind of ill just like this little girl and we brought her back and just gave her extra care. Uh, we were unable, that's why she's not bred, hadn't been bred this year. She was just too small come breeding time. So it's going to be probably the same scenario for this little girl. And this is Lacey's first buck, um, who's about a quarter of the size of her second buck. but. He was the other one who just kind of got down and sickly. He's doing really, really good also. Um, he actually, he bounces around and gets all playful. So he really needs disbudded. It's something I didn't do because he was just, I just got worried that he would be too weak. But I think he's definitely strong enough now. And I need to get on those horns before they get any bigger. He's for sure going to be a weather though. He happens to be the only boy that I trust in here with my with my girls because they are at that age. Um, so let's go show you where we had to put all the other boys. So over here we have our new temporary weather pin. Um, I the boys, as Crystal mentioned, have to be separated from the does. Um, they're all eight to ten weeks, and, uh, and that's when they start sniffing around and they could cause some trouble for us. So I needed a spot for the bucks and the weathers and these pigs here. Hi guys. I needed a shady spot. I needed something. I wanted to see how these cooney coonies do on the grass. Everybody says they're the miracle pig and they don't root and they don't mess anything up. And I want to see for myself. So far they're, they're doing just like everybody says. So again, this is just temporary. Um, I have another solar charger coming, so we are going to get these weathers and hopefully these pigs out on pasture and just uh, browsing and grazing. And uh, So this is just temporary. We will build some sacrifice pens for weathers and for pigs, but I'm not sure how big our pig operation is going to get just yet. We're still learning about them. As far as weathers, I mean, last year I had two or three. This year we've got four or six, and next year we'll probably have 10 to 15 weathers. So, you know, there's a lot of what ifs, a lot of unknowns, a lot of uh, stuff to figure out still. This pretty boy here is Sky's Buck, um, and he is the last buck to be purchased. So, really 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 glad that he sold as a buck because he is just absolutely stunning you know he's one of those that would always catch my eye in the group of them so 
he's gonna be going to a really lovely family in Colorado in the next week or two so and they named him Sultan so this is Vader um, a buck that we're retaining uh, you know we bought Val was one of the seven crazies that we purchased and I was just hoping to get a buck out of her that's all I wanted because she's bred to really awesome lines and she herself is from really awesome lines and so this was one of the four that she actually had um, and we got two of the other does over there but he is an awesome buck I'm so excited about him and he's a sweetie because they're all sweeties aren't you yes okay Vader and lastly our other buck we're retaining this was Lacey's boy the very last buck that was born um, that we're retaining this is we're deciding to call him legend so I think it's very fitting and he's a giant and he's very very funny he's got quite the personality and gonna act a lot like uh, lucky I think so he's just gorgeous though really excited about this boy too so these two boys are doing really really good um, really we've never had pigs before but I'd been researching the Cooney Cooney for a good year now so obviously you guys know most of you know that we got these two from Kevin and Danelle and they're just very friendly um, but anyway we, we got them because we want to learn on them and just learn their personalities and how they behave and if they're gonna graze and things like that our grass is a lot different now they're going away So right now we just have the two boars um, but we do have a sow that we purchased or a gilt rather a baby pig she's a baby a baby female pig but um, hopefully we'll get a couple more too so when I was looking a year ago they were very abundant and it seemed they're hard to find all of a sudden now that I want them but uh, anyway in another week or two we'll have the the little gilt to be able to add to them and, and hoping to get a couple more gilt so pretty excited about this new animal on the farm for sure Alright guys, so we just wanted to get everybody a little bit caught up on, on most of the things that we've been been up to and it's been crazy. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you again soon.